guys at Keystone this, uh, this afternoon uh, just doing a quick 30 minute run again uh, yeah so I'll see you guys out there all right so basically have like an hour to kill um, so try decided to go out and fish the afternoon well midday basically it's just like one one in the afternoon uh, so here you see me just kind of casting out to, to the middle of nowhere. Basically my first cast is always just to time to see how fast my uh, lures sink. So as you guys can see here it sank pretty fast. Oh my god. That's getting snag on the bottom. Yeah. Luckily it didn't uh, snap off or anything, just kind of bent the little hook. So what I'm using here is a uh, inline sinker, uh, I believe it was 3 ounce, with a little uh, bugtail, weightless bugtail or fly. Um, basically what I was trying to do here is uh, match the hatch. Uh, I knew there was fish in here, so and they were catching little shad, eating on feet on little shad so let's try to try to match the hatch as best I could here. So when you guys are fishing the dam you guys want to make sure uh, to make the experience better for everybody. Try not to uh, you can cast over other people's line but just be aware of where the line's at. That helps this is actually the first fish right here and it was not a striper white bass white perch that's it so that's that inline uh, sinker I was talking about and then that's the fly right there I was using So there's only like five of us here and so we weren't really in each other way too much but uh, usually I try not to fish dams anymore because it gets too too crowded and then you're basically waiting on each other before you get cast what? and um, it's just fisherman's etiquette. What happened? Really? Dude right next to me hooked up into like that a sucks. gar or something. Just snapped his line. So after like a couple casts and I was only getting white bass, decided to change it up to a bigger fluke. And I basically snapped, um, got hung up on the next cast. So then I switch I had to switch it up again. Okay, that, this is the next cast right here. Oh come on. Yep, on the bottom. It doesn't matter what type of uh, sinker or wheelers swim bait fluke setup you do, there's a whole bunch of line down there and it's very easy to get hung up. Just gotta try best not to. So instead of tying on another sinker, I decided to just use the good old jig head. This is a bullet style jig head. Uh, it's like a two and a half ounce jig head with a um, fluke. And I eventually switched that up to a swim bait as a trailer and both work just fine. So 
right here I was targeting the the slack water just right outside the current over there that's where the fish usually hang out So if you guys pay attention, if you guys watched the last video, I was fishing on the other side over there. And um, on this day, they shut up the floodgates, so it forced me to come back onto this side, which is the north side of the dam. So I've had comments before where guys like, why are you like just forcing yeah, them in and not, you know, letting them run around? It's for the same reason why I don't. You try not to keep uh, getting your lures down to the bottom because they'll get hung up. And there's so many line down there that uh, that fish will just drive you right into the line. So you try your best to um, fight them and bring them in as soon as you can. So with fast moving current and really really slippery rocks I usually opt for bringing a net and this is the RS, ne RS Nets this is like the most badass net and I'll do a review here uh, here pretty soon on this net we've had it for a couple oh, years yes. now and it's been such an awesome net to have it's, it's like the best net that we've ever used and they're pretty pricey so the, this is my first driver of the day and it was pretty uh, pretty good sized one. This one's oh, I didn't really measure yard. it but if I was to guesstimate it'd be close to like 26 inches. Deeper. And it's, it was the biggest one of the day. So I am keeping fish today. I wanted to keep two fish for my dad for, and my mom. So um, I usually, if I do plan to keep fish, I bring, you have to put it on a stringer if you're fishing at the dam. And then uh, here in a bit, you, you guys see how I, uh, I bleed them out. I do bleed out my stripers. They taste better if you do bleed them out. Uh, I usually bring like a scissor to cut the gills, but because I didn't bring any scissors with me this day, I had my pliers, just, just rip the gills and bleed out quite nicely too. Here you go, ripping the gills. That's basically what I do. Pretty graphic, but as you can see, blood's already spilling out. That's how you. That's what you want to see. You want to make sure the blood's, all the blood's coming out. So here I'm waiting. You gotta be aware of where all the other people's lines are. You don't want to be just casting over and then t getting tangled up. So as soon as I know that for sure, I'm not gonna hook up or tangle into them, then uh, I go ahead and cast out. Now that you guys, the guys in front of me, though they were hooking up pretty good. They were using light bait. So they're cast netting for uh, the shad and then we're gonna hook and a sinker and throw them back out.
had a couple of hits that didn't hook up, so I'm pretty sure that was just probably it's white bass. Here. Basically, I'm just casting it out there, letting it sink to the bottom, um, timing it to the bottom because you don't want it to actually hit the bottom, and then uh, just drifting it as close to the bottom as you can. And then those jerks are just, just to keep the lure up and above all the line and the rocks in there. So this happens a lot, getting snagged on the bottom. There's a couple way, couple things you could do, but with the current being so fast that I just try to force it in. I felt that I wasn't actually on a rock. It was just the I was on some lines down there. So at this point, I mean, you can't really do too much. So you just either try to break it off or try to break the line that's down there. And luckily enough. Right here, I was able to break that line down there. Got my lure back. Uh, I didn't do it, but every time that happens, it's always good to check all your lines and make sure that nothing got scraped by a rock, nothing's damaged. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll just leave you guys here. Good one? Oh, come on, man. Shit. Any help? Any help? I can net for you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yep. Nice one, man. Yeah.
Thanks, buddy. It's weird. They usually don't buy in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. But the past couple weeks, they've been doing good in the afternoon. Appreciate it, man. There we go, another decent one. Hey, need help? Oh. It's okay. <laughs>
sometimes it's good to change up the color. So switching up to a albino or a ghost color. I am keeping fish today, so as you guys can see. So I might suck carrying all this fish back. Big? Ah. Oh. He's all right. Look good. Hey, Hope. All right. That looks good. Oh, it's a fucking car. I saw him. <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah, he did! <laughs> Dang!
Hey, did you catch any yet? Did you catch any yet? <laughs> if I get this one in, you want it? <laughs> yeah. it... oh. It's pretty simple. I can show you if you want. Yeah. No, you're good. It's just sometimes they're kind of picky. They don't eat shit? They do. That's what we're imitating. We're sh imitating shad, but you see that wall? Yeah. If you look at it closely, the water going against the wall is actually pushing forward that way. Yeah. So when you cast, you want to cast into that wall. Let it drop so that it'll, it'll slowly still bounce off the bottom. And then the stripers are usually in here waiting for the ambush. So, but I just use a little bullet jig head with yeah, a fluke. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Just put a little fluke on the end. What is that? Oh, uh, like a, like a fake swim yeah. swim bait. Yeah. I got a, I got one that looks like an octopus almost. Has the little things at the bottom. It's red and white. That kind of works too, but sometimes they get picky. So. Yeah. Yeah. Here you can have this guy. Did you already catch your limit? Nah, I, I usually catch and release, but today only, I'm only keeping two. So that'd be my third towards my count five Let me cut this that way i don't mess up your shit i'm about to head out anyways Hey, but it, yeah, no, like Banjo Minnow works. Uh, you can have this one, it's kind of beat up, but you can tie this one off if you want. Just kind of be careful because it gets hang up really easy. Okay. Yeah, so you just want this would be all I need, huh? Yep, so it's cut there. So you just want to just want to hit if you could hit the middle wall, yep. let it drop right down, right in the middle yeah, of that wall. and just kind of feel the bottom and. If you hear like a thump, and that's usually what it, what it is. So. <sighs> nah, it's not like a catfish where it's like, you know, fucking <laughs> do, and then it's like fucking pulling shit. Usually it's like do, and then if you fucking miss it, you miss it. Hey, I've been out here shit for years, man. Yeah, get your throw down. You definitely want to be able to hit over there. Somebody hit the tail, that's for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, pretty, pretty good size one. Hey guys, so that was a quick trip going out to Keystone. Um, I had about hour 45 minutes to kill. 
so I decided to make the run and uh, it was pretty good I was pretty surprised uh, even though I got there and they turned the floodgates off they did or they were generating water out of the generator so there was water coming out of the dam and uh, the fish was there and they was biting so uh, which was kind of surprising to me it's midday usually they don't bite but uh, somewhere around they were there and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time um, so quickly going over the gear that I use I used um, bait wise I use a two ounce three ounce sinker with a fluke and then also did a two and a half ounce jig head with a five and a half with a five inch um, shad body swim bait and that that was the ticket um, pretty sure I could have caught more but I you know, I gotta come back and pick up my daughter. I only had a, like I said, an hour window. So that's basically it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys um, want to see more, hit that notification bell. So you guys get notified when I upload a video. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Hey everybody! Thanks for watching, but stop preloading. I need you guys to hit the subscribe button the like button and the bell and be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you guys on the next one.